close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Welcome back, everybody, to Llamascapes. It is day 87, and we are here with some very interesting plans for this video. If you remember at the end of the last one, I mentioned that I had some interesting machinations in my mind going on. Also, a strange level happening in the background here, 94 <laughs> farming. All right, cool, I'll take it. But anyway... We're here just just buyers as normal, you know, burning through our auras. We're going to be doing this throughout the video. But because I have some interesting life things happening in about a week and a half, going on another road trip of sorts, uh, I realized that I really need to burn through some progress. So I've got some interesting things happening. And ideally, we'll be getting more than just one 99 in this video. I do have one thing worth mentioning, though, and that is that I have been siphoning my Sun Spear, uh, given that I can make, like, 23 of them. Uh, it's just so much easier than making Augmenters because, you know, that costs energy, it costs enhancing components, and the base parts and whatnot that you have to, uh, you know, go do a shop run for. I've just been doing some siphons. It's fine. It'll get me to 99 anyway. Uh, yeah, that's that's the only real change that's happened to this Vire grind. I've noticed that, uh, you know, in my time of training all this magic and defense alongside prayer, that I'm going to end up getting 99 defense before I get 99 prayer here. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the rest of my prayer. I think I was like 1.8 million short, uh, which meant that earlier today I did some cleansing crystals uh, during Heffen Voice of Saren. And during that time, I realized that they're not actually worth doing. Uh, so I burned through about 20 of those, and I realized, also here's 96 prayer, uh, I realized while doing those cleansing crystals uh, that I'm probably going to end up getting quite a bit of prayer XP through Big Game Hunter, uh, as it is my, uh, my current plan for training Hunter. So, yeah, it's, it's not a huge deal. Uh, whether or not I, uh, you know, buy my prayer because I'm probably going to end up getting plenty of bones. On to day 88, and there is a 97 prayer. Also picked up 97 defense just a little bit earlier. Very quickly closing in on these 99s, but, uh, yeah, prayer. We're just going to be like, you know, a proverbial inch away from 99, and then just going to totally flatline our progress, uh, till we're done with Hunter. Uh, okay then, what? How is that possible? That was a triple big game hunter. I got three Maddox. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, <laughs> that, that is nuts. What? <laughs> and there we go finally have max mazcab reputation which means that i'm probably gonna stop doing to me forced uh it's a decent xp but it's not the best and it's also not in a lot of uh super important skills like mining and dungeoneering so yeah no more of this on today 89 and we are burning through my dinosaur bone stack uh yeah yesterday i didn't feel like doing more than two hours of fires yesterday and i've already done like two auras worth today. Uh, got 98 defense, 871k away from 99, and uh, about one and a half mil prayer away. Uh, though I'm going to be quite close to 98 prayer by the time I get done with these dinosaur bones. Uh, and I will probably be doing another roar or two potentially today uh, worth of hunter. Uh, so that'll that'll keep uh, you know building that prayer up. The other things I've been doing on the side include, uh, well, I did quite a bit of fletching last night um, just to make sure I was making some progress. I was getting, like, feeling a little burnt, so I just wanted to do something AFK on the side and, uh, you know, played some uh, some games with friends. Uh, also, I, uh, I've been working on thieving just a little bit uh, on the side. I picked up 95 the other day. Um, I do want to get this to 99 pretty soon so that I can turn off the daily challenge for it. Uh, same with fire making. Once I'm done with vires, I'd like to get that to 99 
just to try and get those daily challenges, like, condensed down to just the good things. Save on Vizwax and, uh, yeah, just make things a little more consistent. And here we finally have it. 99, number two, baby. Yeah, 99 defense picked up uh, just about 950k away from 99 HP. Let's see, 700k away from 99 prayer. Definitely going to be able to pick that up just from doing Hunter. And uh, yeah, you know, like 5.2 mil from 99 fire making. That's going to take a bit of work. But uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go check out the loot. All right, decided to change up my bank a little bit, but uh, the total amount of prayer XP I gained was somewhere in like the 8 to 10 million range. Uh, I don't actually know the, the total, but it's somewhere in that range, so quite a bit of XP. Here is the loot. So 335 prayer pots and 375 super restores that I made previously. Of course, I've been drinking up these, uh, these prayer pots pretty regularly, but there's also about 2,500... Ranar is sitting here, you know, like 3,600 Aventos, which is just disgusting. Uh, about 3,000 Snapdragons as well. Uh, very nice. Uh, no more really big stacks aside from like Toad Flax, which is just like 500 here. Um, you know, it's like 500 here. Uh, so, yeah, pretty pretty solid loot there. And then onto the seeds, we have, uh, yeah, quite a few. About uh, 100 to 200 in just about everything. I have been farming my Cadentines. I also farmed quite a few Irrits, uh, and a lot of other stuff I just had on Destroy. Like, I probably was destroying Ranars, uh, given how many drop. Um, eventually started destroying more Cella Mushrooms, but I also started collecting Snape Grass because I was running out. Uh, so that's a, a part of my farming preset now. Uh, you see I have 476. You get, like, 150 every single farm run, um, just by doing the 8 allotment patches. So it, it, it stacks up pretty quickly. Um... Yeah, that's the loot, you know, coin pouch, almost 54 mil in it, up to 95 invention. Yeah, we made some good progress there. Uh, don't exactly know what I'm going to work on next. Have a few ideas in mind. Uh, we'll see which one I end up at. Oh, and I totally forgot to show uh, along the way, I also picked up my death runes and blood runes. So those have pretty solid stacks now, uh, 29 and 23k. Uh, and I also picked up the, uh, yeah, the congealed blood, so 7,300. So 7,300 there, plus the, like, thousand that I put into my Draken's Medallion might give you a decent idea of how many I killed. Like, 8,300 congealed blood's worth. It's a weird number. Um, also, uncut rubies, uncut diamonds, I was picking those up uh, pretty regularly. And a ton of crystal keys. You see, I have, like, 28 just sitting here. I popped... I don't even know, like 70 to 100, if not more, uh, so far. So, uh, yeah, those are, those are nice. And there we have it, the hooded skill cape of defense acquired. Uh, time to move on to some, some AFK things. And we're just finishing up the day here, uh, with a little thieving level. The nice thing about level 96 here is... Well, you know, one one step closer to uh, 99, of course. But it also unlocks the last safe in Zamorgul's Fort. Uh, that's, you know, one of the sets of safes that you go and do. There's four in one little room, and you unlock them at, you know, 90, 92, 94, 96. So, uh, technically, level 96 is the last little XP and hour buff that we're going to get uh, towards our thieving grind. Yeah, though, no, I know... <laughs> I know. And this is my favorite pet, too, man. I love this boy. <sighs> yeah, Ralph. How's it going? My dude. And look, I don't do this often, but I'm just going to call him out and have him follow me around because I, I, I love I love this little dude. Oh, my goodness. On to day 91, and I've had a fairly busy weekend. Haven't had a lot of time to... Uh, play but it's good to at least get some hours in and get this uh taken care of <laughs> yeah there's uh there's one more 99 done don't actually remember where i pick up the skill cape is it is it derek no it's uh oh it's in taverly that's right all right and i don't remember if i actually showed me getting the uh, defense skill cape but there is the thieving one done as well and as mentioned they are all going in the bank 
on to day 92 and yeah i know i didn't play a ton uh over the past few days progress has been a little slow but hey we finally got a big update uh elder god wars dungeon is officially out at least the first batch of it we all know how batches uh go in this game but i have been working on a, a bunch of other things kind of uh off screen didn't really mention up to like 89 wood cutting i think i picked up 94 fire making as well um i enabled the always adds the uh relic power and here i have uh yeah made myself like 700 decorated wood cutting urns which is how much i need to get to 99 i think uh so those are sorted out uh, on top of that you know of course i went for 99 thieving uh, and I've been just working on a few other uh, AFK things. I did quite a bit of fletching, for instance. So 50k arrow shafts, 209k headless arrows. Uh, yeah, those took a while to go through. And this here is something that I forgot that I could do. Not that I forgot, it's just that I forgot to do it before yesterday's reset. Toggle off thieving daily challenges. Yes, so when you get 99 in a given skill or 99 in all of your combats, specifically uh, for the first one, um, you can toggle off the ability to get daily challenges in that skill. So this will allow me to kind of, well, for one, only get daily challenges in skills I haven't maxed yet. So it helps, you know, even push that progress towards max a little bit faster. Uh, but it also allows me to kind of pick and choose the order that I max my skills in, right? If I go out of my way and I get like 99 archaeology sooner, that means that the skills that are harder to get to 99 will have daily challenges show up more often. And it allows you to kind of fine tune the way that you're going to push for max. This is a really important part of my strategy uh, and it's going to kind of dictate how I continue maxing skills moving forward. So something like this is a really good example. Smithing daily challenges are fantastic because I'm trying to line up my smithing with my mining. Just getting one of these daily challenges and then extending them is like 80 to 90,000 XP per day if I could consistently get them in smithing. Taking thieving off the list makes it ever so slightly more likely. And the same thing goes with holding on to bad daily challenges. So specifically, uh, I don't think the archaeology daily challenge is actually too bad. I, I kind of like it. Uh, but divination is pretty bad, uh, specifically because the divination daily is worse than just doing a Guthix cache. So if I can get 99 div faster, that's great. Uh, also just holding on to this daily challenge means that you can't roll it again. Uh, so there is some benefit to holding on to other daily challenges and just only completing one of them, turning it in, and then letting a new one pop up, uh, keeping four slots filled up by things that you don't really care for. And on to day 93. Yeah, we have a pretty solid setup here. Ready for overloads. I've burned through all of my supplies, got all of my super restores and prayer pots made that I had available. So there's 1,077, 33, 36. And here's, here's the really juicy stuff, right? 464 extreme attacks, 352 extreme defenses, 325 strengths, 314 rangings, 405 magic. So I'm going to be able to make probably about 330 to 340 overload uh three dose potions that's quite a lot of xp uh only thing i need is the plus four boost and then just to time everything so i keep logging out uh to maintain that boost but that should be pretty easy to get uh before i get to that though i might go ahead and make my uh sarah bruce i realized i skipped over those and on the second stew i got a plus six herb lore which took me all the way to 98 I happen to actually want 97 for something, so I'm probably going to be doing a whole lot of locking out here. <laughs> well, I just got level 93, and I did not know that my boost would actually carry up one. So I have a level 99 boost right now. Uh, that is huge, actually. Perfect plus potions are quite sick if I can unlock it. So I have to go see that. <laughs> Still logging out every single minute. Oh, well, the thing I wanted 99 for was perfect plus potions. And I need to find the recipe still. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but I did unlock searing overloads and aggro overloads. I need to make some searings while I still have this boost going. And there we have something that I have been waiting for 
for a while searing overload potions that technically unlocks our late game slayer method uh of course hydrix dragons in ed2 uh i didn't want to do those one without the 95 prayer and two without some searing overloads of course uh and this this little batch is going to be more than enough to actually complete 99 slayer 28 searing overloads made I uh, got a few for free from the botanist helmet, which is quite nice. Or the, the factory set. Uh, yeah, the factory set. No, 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 no. The botanist mask, yes. I <laughs> uh, got a few for free. Uh, time to do something that I've been waiting for for quite a while. I'm not sure if this is something that I have shown off anytime recently, but I have 218 penguin points. And today is, is weekly reset, so actually I need to go do my penguins and use a, a weekly D&D &D reset token on them. Uh, so I, I have too many points. It caps out at 250. I have to use these, and what better thing to use it on than Herblore. Uh, see, if I get my Herblore up to 95, that actually boosts up Herbie Werby yet again, uh, and then it makes future boosting for things like overloads much easier. Uh, so I think I'm going to use these on Herblore for the time being, and any more that I save up after this batch will probably be going into different things. All right, we picked up level 94. Time to just burst the full 16, because I think uh, I think it's not quite going to get us level, but let's see. Boom. Oh, it did get us the level. <laughs> okay. Well, there's, uh, there's 95 Herblore done. Let's see, how much do I have left for 99? 4.1 million at EXP. Uh, well, I have quite a few herb seeds that I've been, uh, you know, steadily working on now that I'm doing a few more farm runs, uh, probably like two or three a day. So that'll help out. Um, yeah, and then Herbie Werby Weekly will will give me quite a bit of that as well. So I'm not not too worried about 99ing Herblore. Actually, now that I'm uh, really looking at it, it does seem like I'm going to need... A, a, some other XP sources than just my herb seeds. Um, yeah, I mean, this 100 Snapdragons will help out quite a lot since I do have just a, a ton of red spider eggs. Um, but really, it's just the uh, the torstals that I'm short on for making overloads. Uh, so I have about 100 here, and then these should make about 300 uh, additional. So about 400 more overloads. That's only about, uh, I think, in the range of like 700k EXP um, from you know, raw ingredients all the way down the line. So, uh, yeah, 4.1 million. Maybe that is, maybe that is a little tough. Um, but that's okay. I, I will, uh, not worry too much about it for now. And I will just be saving up my penguin points anyway. It's not like I'm going to be spending them every time I get them. I'm going to stock up to like 250 again. And I didn't point this out, but, uh, yesterday I actually did do a little bit of Slayer. Got my first task from Lani Ikea, uh, after burning through quite a few skips, uh, I think three or four skips. Uh, I ended up on a dinosaur task that I'm just gonna, just gonna do, cause I need the points. I don't want to end up getting a dragon cluster task and then not being able to prefer it. And I also think there are some good things that I could probably block, so I kinda need to point farm, uh, but... Really, I'm just hoping to get those uh, those dragon tasks soon, uh, because it's only going to take two or three tasks, I think, to get me uh, all the way to 99 Slayer. Augmented Decimation, now featuring a P6E4. Pretty solid starter set of perks. Dinosaur Task, finishing up here. That was relatively painless, uh, though it did take a little bit of time. Of course, I am using my overloads, just given that I have them. Uh, and I ended up getting the Totem of Intimidation base. Uh, so I think I still need one more piece for the Intimidation, but that is a, that's a nice uh, totem to get. Well, uh, task number 370 was Black Dragons, which went pretty quick. Task 380 is Aviancy. So I'm going back to Armadale. I didn't feel like skipping it. Uh, I'm working on helping Lanny Ikea to get the third piece of the Totem of Intimidation so I can skip all of the kill count. And I picked up the Totem of Treasure Middle. I think that's the third piece of that. So, uh, yeah, those are those are both done now. All right, there we have it. The most useless piece for me, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, Armadillo Gloves. That is a upgrade? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a slight upgrade. 
Well, all we got was the armor gloves, uh, but there's the task complete, and we picked up level 90 range. I think that uh, occasionally, you know, while the cash stack is feeling good, I'm going to buy these Uncharted Island maps. Um, you know, I just, I would really love to see a, a special red one one day, you know. So I think I will be uh, buying these every now and again. Big task number 400 coming in, and it's Dagonauts. And see, this one is kind of interesting because there is this method for farming Crimson Charms, which, of course, I need Charms for summoning, which involves just camping Dagonauts. So I think I'm going to go do that uh, with ranged for a little bit. Uh, I actually have a Charm ticket in my bank, uh, and 40 minutes should be enough to get through the full task. So that's that. On to day 94, just picked up 91 Slayer, uh, working on this AVNC task at Cree, and it it finally clicked to me. Part of the reason why I wasn't seeing the dragon task I wanted is that I need a few more Slayer levels. Um, yeah, so I can actually get the dragon cluster task, but originally, whenever I was looking into this method, it accounted for uh, being level 94 plus, so that I can also get the gemstone dragon task because either of those were, will work just fine uh, for the method that I plan to do. So I think, um, you know, generally I'm going to be using my skips. I'm going to do some blocks, some prefers, um, you know, to try and run better tasks up to level 94. And then once I'm at 94 is really when I'm going to uh, go hard and push for those dragon tasks. Then again, I think just getting one dragon cluster task might get me all the way to 94. So uh, that's also a possibility. All right, that was the last Criara of the task, so AVNC task done yet again. Sadly, no more items. Only have one pair of Armadil gloves at this point, and I think my kill count is up to, uh, I want to say, 103. Let's see, 104. Yeah, and, and that's the collection log. I got Armadil gloves, and I ended up getting one more Godsword Shard 3 sitting here in my inventory, but that's... That's not much to write home about. It does exist. 146 dragons for a Slayer token. I don't have enough points to prefer it, but that's okay. I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to go set up ED2 for this method. Killed a few medium-tier giant mimics. I'm going to pop these open. Looking for a Scrimshaw. Okay, a VIP ticket. That's, that's trash. Scrimshaw of Aggression. Not quite what I'm looking for. No, I'm looking for the Scrimshaw of Sacrifice or Scrimshaw of Corruption because those will give bonus uh, Slayer XP and, uh, yeah, in exchange for drops. Well, I ended up killing 11 on medium difficulty, 6 on hard, and 1 on elite just now. Yeah, all I got was Scrimshaw of Aggression. I got 8 of them. And I, and I got some VIP tickets along the way, too. But that is so unfortunate. I thought it was a much more common drop than that. Um, I actually thought they were pretty close to 50-50 uh, between aggression and, uh, and sacrifice. So that's unfortunate. However, I did just learn that by doing a bit of uh, wiki search, there is a uh, scrimshaw of sacrifice available to everyone, I believe. Let me just uh, eat some of these souls, or toss them out. Open the trunk. There we go. Superior Scrimshaw of Sacrifice. Um, yeah, it's it's one available to everyone. You just have to have completed Curse of the Black Stone. Uh, then you just run in here on story mode. Or, well, you get a key, a key from Goshima. You run in here on story mode. You know, run to this part. Um, and then exit that door. Go dig some sand for a special key. And then pop this trunk open. And there we have it, the first big XP drop, 17,040 Slayer. Yeah, I don't actually know if this was active either. Yeah, I don't think it was quite active in time, uh, so I'm going to have to get better with that. But I now have it available. Uh, thanks to a friend of mine, he came through and helped me duo both of the bosses, Astalarn and Varric Lith. Uh, I tried soloing first. I got Astalarn down to 60k, um, but that's okay. Uh, this should be set up now. Assuming that going from duo to solo doesn't break it. Something else I'm going to do for this method, just to speed it up, is to buy Dragonkin Lab teleports. It costs 1,000 DG tokens each. I only have 22k tokens to start with. 
And since you're only getting two kills each run, it's going to add up a little bit. Uh, however, I can go burn through some dungeoneering, uh, some normal dungeoneering for tokens, or I could go do some token farming. And uh, yeah, this, this doesn't cost too much. Well, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be happening. Um, I'm not getting the bonus from Scrimshaw of Sacrifice. Uh, I mean, I'm still getting the 17k XP that I was looking for, but I'm not getting the, the little bonus on top of that. Uh, did get some perfect dragon scales, though, so that's that's nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good XP, uh, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get that extra 50%. It's just, I don't know, uh, maybe it's bugged or m maybe it was uh, patched or something like that. But I, I can't find any reference on the wiki, Reddit, and anything like that. So uh, I'm just going to go without the scrimshot for now. And uh, I got quite lucky, actually. I ended up getting an uncut onyx before I even noticed. That was in my first, like, five kills of these guys, I think. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of wild. And as it turns out, they are quite fast uh, using chins. Though, so that's <laughs> that's going to be the method. I uh, I originally went for decimation solely so I could do this method. Um, but turns out chins are fine. And we're on roar again. There's another little milestone. 90 hunter taken care of. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to do this, especially now that I'm working on the Slayer grind, because this also gives Slayer XP. So uh, every little bit counts. Um, I might be able to uh, only have to do two total tasks of dragons uh, in order to knock out 99 Slayer, if I'm able to do enough hunter in between. I actually did the math, and uh, the total number of dragons I had left to go... Uh, before starting BGH was 386, and I have 95 left on this task. So that means, uh, you know, maybe if I can trim that number down a little bit to like the 150, 170 range, maybe, uh, then, you know, one extended task, no need to prefer anything, that, that'll be it uh, taken care of. All right, did some dungeoneering, which will provide to, uh, well, at least finish this task off. That's 62 teleports uh, for the next 95 dragons. Uh, and I also have about 20,000 tokens left, so that'd be another 20 if I wanted to. Um, basically just finished up the prestige, which was eight large floors, and reset. Uh, ended up picking 96 Dungeoneering up, and uh, yeah, about halfway through that level, only 2.7 mil left for that 99. And here I just realized that because my friend actually carried me through ED2 at, uh, at one point, I can just reattune one of my portals here to Dragonkin Laboratory. Uh, I'm still going to use the teleports that I've purchased already, uh, but if I find that I need them, then I will just change this portal over because I think it costs like 100k, so big deal. So I ran into a bit of an issue with the Slayer grind, and that is that because I had to duo the bosses, as soon as I logged out and the group closed, it meant that the instance closed and progress has to be reset. Now, if I was able to solo the bosses, it would be a different story. Um, but I tried, you know, I wasn't able to. Um, and I don't think it's a matter of just not knowing the boss well enough. I just don't think I can with my current gear setup. So I'm in kind of an awkward spot where, like, I could duo it with the friend. Say that takes, like, 40 minutes. And then if I really focused... I could go until I get like six hour logged because I'm, I'm pretty sure six hour log is still in uh, RS3. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. So I think what I'm going to do is just get to the point where I could burn through it in maybe about four hours there. Uh, and then ask my friend to help out again. I don't want to be, you know, uh, too, uh, too absurd with it or anything. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to do some normal slayer. But that also means big game hunter, so I'm uh, prepping urns to finish up 99 hunter. On to day 95, and I know everything was gearing up looking like, wow, we might knock out uh, 99 Slayer pretty quickly. But that ED2 setback uh, was a bit frustrating. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I want to do about that. Uh, so basically, all day today was spent mining. Yeah, I'm up to 2400 Luminite. I think it was like 800 or something before I started today. Uh, also, I made myself uh, all of the hunter urns that I planned on making, so there's 700 hunter urns. So that means all the woodcutting and hunter are done. I just need to make some cooking, some fishing, and some runecrafting for the future. Um, but 
between that little setback, uh, I mean, the fact that it's been a while since I put a new video up, and me suddenly starting to feel unwell, uh, yeah, I need to wrap everything up and say that's it for this video. I totally don't know what the plans for the next one are. See, this one I was planning to get at least two or three more 99s. I mean, hey, I, I got two, and I'm... I'm 160k from 99 HP, so I guess that one might count. But uh, anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'm actually going to be taking another uh, weekend trip, so the start of the next one will be a little bit slow, but I expect it to be pretty content-filled, probably dropping just a little bit after the day 100 mark. So that's, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next one.